Look familiar. This is the Whitney portal on the start of Mount Whitney. It's like 6, 10 a.m. Um, we are just, I don't even know if we're gonna summit today. Um, we're going on the other side of the ridge to go camp somewhere down by Guitar Lake because we have an overnight wilderness permit and then we're gonna summit for sunrise tomorrow. But we just entered the John Muir Wilderness. I think we're about a mile in. The first mile is pretty tame. You only gain, I don't know, 500 feet or something. Um, pack everything out. It's different doing this. Usually I'm starting earlier in the morning. So it's different doing this when it's so sunny out. Um, so early. I mean, it's also 4th of July, so the sun, uh, you know, not too far past the solstice. So it, it was light by 5 in the morning when we were driving here. Um, and then we took our time packing stuff up, repacking, getting ready. So we wanted to start at 6, but started at like probably 10 after 6, I would say. So there's looking down. You can see down the Lone Pine. You can see the road that goes down. I guess you can't actually see the town from here, but... You can see just the massive granite cliffs. You know, you don't have views to Whitney until we get higher up, but um, it's really pretty, really pretty scenery. All right, here's our log bridge. It was another tenth of a mile up or so. Oh, there's people coming the other way too. Obviously pretty low water flow. Very stable logs. Hey. Oop. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, no worries. Very wide. So right after the log bridge, we're gonna hit the junction to go to Lone Pine Lake. It's like another tenth of a mile up the trail. I don't know if I should take you, maybe I'll just save some recording and then uh, turn it back on when we get to the lake. Well, here we are. We're approaching Lone Pine Lake. Definitely one of my favorite lakes. It might be number one. I like Lone Pine Lake. I like Consultation Lake, which we'll see later. Um, I really like that turquoise lake. I forget the name of it that was up, um, up on a shelf that you had to scramble up to in the Tetons. Look at this nice pine crush down here. Ah, so peaceful down here. I wonder if there's anyone camping around here. This is about the highest you can hike up to without a permit. Right after this, we'll enter the Whitney zone where you need a permit. This is it. This is Lone Pine Lake. Gorgeous. The big granite cliffs all over the place. So I'm going to refill water, chug water. I'm actually going to walk to the other side of the lake. I've never actually done that before. I want to get a view from over there, so I'll check in over there. Well, climbed up on the other side of Lone Pine Lake. You can see the road and basically the whole trail coming up. Um, mm. Yeah, I'm on the other side of the lake now. I'll go down to the shore. Mm. 
gonna be up there. <laughs> oh, I did a drop off. Yeah. Guess I could just walk right down this thing. Pretty cool. All right, you can see all this green here. We are entering, it's called Bighorn Park. I misspoke, I misspoke in the last video. It's called a Trailside Meadow, which is actually some greenery along the creek higher up, a couple miles up the trail. This is Bighorn Park. That formation, it's called Wotan's Throne. Um, and you can see behind it, beyond, that's the start of the ridge that eventually leads to Whitney. Um, you just can't see Whitney from here, but... So this is like a nice little break. You get probably, I don't know, a quarter to a half mile of uh, pretty flat walking along the park. It was flooded one time. I was here. Um, but we managed to stay dry. But when it... And they get a lot of snow mountain stuff. This whole meadow is just a big pool, um, as is the trail. You can see there's even some water now. Um, yeah, this is a cool, cool meadow. Plenty of flowing water if you need to fill up. Of course, I don't because I just did at Lone Pine Lake. But uh, then we're gonna hit a campsite up at the head of the meadow. And then we'll start zigzagging up to Mere Lake up there um, before we continue up the rock. So, okay. Closer to the head of the meadow now. Bunch of little stream crossings. Obviously not too treacherous right now. This is outpost camp. A lot of people camp up here. You can see just all the granite. Up ahead, it's massive, towering walls of granite. Like I said, we're gonna be working our way up here to hit uh, Mirror Lake, and then uh, then it's pretty much all on uh, granite from there. Um, after Mirror Lake, it's another two miles or so um, up to uh, the other camp, trail camp. Trail camps where most people usually camp um, if they're breaking up Whitney in the multi days. And uh, it's usually a good place to refill with water. It's really the last running water you might have um, up to the ridge and up to the summit. So, yeah, we are, I don't know, three, 3.7 miles in, maybe 3.8. Somewhere around there, We've got about a half mile um, climb up to Mere Lake. So, check in later. Maybe. It's almost halfway up to where we need to go. Or where? This is Mere Lake. You can see uh, Wotan's throne up here. That one, I believe, not that one. I'm actually not 100% sure now. And there you can see the Whitney formation. You just can't see the summit. Yeah, this is Mirror Lake. We're headed up this way and then we'll eventually be on granite working our way down. This is my uh, picture spot where I took the picture that I like the best right as the sun was starting to come up before it shined on the meadow. But you can see, uh, you can see Lone Pine Lake down there. I don't know if I'm pointing in the right spot, it's hard to see. And you can see Mirror Lake down there. And we are uh, getting much higher. So about, I don't know, 4.7 miles in maybe. So. We're getting up there. We are at Trailside Meadow. 
can see it's just this lush area with a bunch of flowers right along the creek. We're just walking alongside of it, heading up. Consultation Lake's gonna be up there. We're heading up there. Um, but yeah, all granite. This is what it looks like. And for most of the time before this, it was, there was no greenery like this. This is a great time to fill up water. Um, not that I need to right now, but yeah, Trailside Meadow. Just got our first view of Consultation Lake here. We're probably at 5.7 or 5.8 miles. Here's the way down. This water's flowing right out of the lake, all this water that we've been walking by. Um, we just had a ranger check our permits, actually. Um, he's checking everyone. So, we passed the test. He asked where we were camping, if we, how we were storing our food, blah, blah, blah. But uh, also passed some people that are just finishing the JMT. They finished it, they did it in 16 days. So, sort of a standard amount i would say i'd say most people do it around you know between 14 and 20 days so you can see that's mount mir which i will be on top of in um i don't know i was gonna say two hours but probably more like three hours um but we are almost to trail camp probably three quarters of a mile or so Maybe even less. So, just working our way up the granite. Check in later. Made it to trail camp. Not too many tents around, but here's a trail camp pond here. And then uh, we will work our way up 99 switchbacks to get up to there. And then we'll go on the back side of the ridge. There's Mount Mir. You can't see Whitney yet. Um, but it's like the next one over there along this line. So. Yeah. Not bad up here. Figured I'd give you a taste of the 99 switchbacks. There's trail camp, trail camp lake, or pond, consultation lake, and uh, just heading up the switchbacks here. not even any snow on this one. I am on the last switchback and you can see Mount Whitney out there with the summit hut on top. But this is the last one. 
It's also arguably the longest one. Um, I think it's like a good, I don't know, two tenths of a mile or something. But as you can see, there's Mir, Mount Mir. Um, so we're getting up to the ridge here where we'll hit Trail Crest. The last one's a bear. None of them are too steep. You're just uh, up at 13,500 feet now, almost 600 feet. Whew. Heavy pack is not fun going up either. Here we go. Consultation Lake just looks bigger and bigger relative to Trail Camp Lake, a Trail Camp Pond, as you get higher. Here we go. Here is where we will be going eventually down these, that's, I want to camp at this, one of these Hitchcock, these two lakes are called the Hitchcock Lakes. And then uh, down lower you can see guitar like, it's shaped like a guitar. But you're seeing out to uh, Sequoia National Park. Whew! So most of the elevation gain's out of the way. I still got to put in, I don't know, 500 feet or so to scramble up Mir but it should be relatively tame. So I'm gonna take a break here, get something to drink, and uh, I'm gonna try to record the whole way up Mir with it on my head, because I'm gonna need my hands to scramble. So you can see out into the high Sierra country. Gorgeous out there. So check in later. We're back in action now. I found the right place. It's not Cairn. But that's the summit up there, and this clearly looks like uh, one of the pictures I have. So I just made a mistake and cut up uh, way too early. Um, but this looks like it's just going to be um, sort of a steep walk up. We're almost at this rock face. We hit that rock face and basically just walk along the base of it um, until we find a crack up on the right that will lead us up. So you can see here we've hit the hit the base of the cliff here. I mean that's a little sketchy getting up this way. Um, so we're going to wrap around and hopefully uh, find the way. Whew. Looks like it's very stable uh, rock. A little bit of exposure, but not a ton. You can see all this rock on um, this real sturdy. And then here, um, I think we head up this crack, which isn't uh, trivial by any means. Um, make sure I have a good hold here. So 
this is a there is a good hold um so i can more or less pull myself up which is what i just did my right arm there's a cairn right here makes me feel much better about things um i don't think i want to drop there i think i want to continue up here and then probably traverse um, over so great um, holds <laughs> to pull myself up not I would not say it is sketchy at all I, I wouldn't say it's sketchy but um, everyone's gonna have a different opinion of that so now um, I believe I want to work my way over here. I can't say I like this a lot. Because there's a lot of exposure here. Um, so it's either I climb up here or I step down a little bit. Uh, I think I'm going to step down a little bit. I can't slide off. Because um, there's a nice ledge here. So I'm going to hold right here, so my hands are sturdy, hands are sturdy, I'm just traversing across, and uh, now I'm across. So that's the traverse, um, and this looks like a little, I don't know, class 4 section maybe. <clears throat> but again, great holds, great steps too. Um, I think we walk right by that big slab of rock. Um, there's a potential option to maybe traverse over, but uh, right now, this is easy going up. Um, and it looks like it might drop off here, so maybe I'll up um, over here. I can get up over here, it looks like. Just want to have a handhold everywhere in case my feet slip. So I have my handhold, have my handhold. And so now I'm at a safe position. And now, similarly, if I get my handhold, climb up here. Not sure if I'm in the right spot, but we're gonna find out soon enough. <sighs> Definitely going to find out soon enough. This is the last sort of uh, push here, and this actually is not trivial um, to step up. Yeah, that was it. Made it. There's the summit registry. Awesome. Look at the view of the switchbacks that you have. You can literally see um, almost every one. This is awesome. Um, I was mistaken earlier, by the way. Guitar Lake's the big one that looks like a guitar. The one down lower is Timberline Lake. Um, that you're not allowed to camp at. All right, we're headed down now from the JMT Junction down to, I don't know, Guitar Lake or one of those lakes down there to camp. Just a ton of switchbacks. They seem pretty gently graded so far and they're like nice and dirt and not, you know, rocky. Um, but we obviously have a long way to go. It's probably I don't know, two and a half, three miles um, down to Guitar Lake. Well, we uh, got down pretty far. So you can see all the spires up ahead. That's Whitney that you see, sort of the flat. Again, we see anyone? Huh? I'm gonna pee. Okay. Um, then uh, 
Again, my hand's not in the right place, but out in that direction. Um, I believe that is Mount Russell, which is also a 14er. Um, but we're down about um, 12,000 feet now, but it is warm. I'm not gonna need the puffy at all or the rain shell. Um, of course, you always wanna have that in case it rains, but, um, or my beanie or gloves, so. Yeah, it's just really hot. I could use some shade or a dip in the water. Good view of our uh, two lakes here. I figure we'll camp somewhere in between them or something. Um, and Guitar Lake, great view of Guitar Lake, so. Yeah. Well, it's 4.07 in the morning and you can't see anything, but we are less than two miles from the Whitney Summit. We're gonna be up there for sunrise. Went up two and a half or 2.6 miles already with the packs, dropped the heavy packs, and now uh, have less than an hour up to the summit. Should be up there a little after five, hopefully. Whew. Unfortunately, it's hard to see, but uh, I am almost at the summit. can't see very well. A little room. Feels much better in here. No wind. Heading down now. It was freezing up there with the wind. The wind's a little better here. You can see Mount Mir. You can see a couple of the needles here, which are pretty cool. That's uh, that's Langley out there that we summited a couple days ago, by the way. Oh yeah, sun. Guess this isn't really a true window. If I step up. Oh boy, look at that drop off. Check out this window here. There's another 
Ugh. One new window. Oh boy. Quite the... Well, I guess there's a ledge there, but... Between these spires, massive drops down. Here's another uh, Whitney window here. Pretty cool. It's a long drop down there. I'm slowly but surely starting to be not as cold. There you go, there's a good old Guitar Lake down there. Can't see, and then you can see Timberline Lake, the smaller one. Down. One more window. I think this is the last one. You can see down now to where we camped. I can't even see it on the screen. Right there, that little lake. The sun is coming up. I'm gonna need my sunglasses by the time I get back to my bag. We're about, we've been, I don't know, maybe a little over a mile down from the summit, so we might have 0.8 miles or something left. Oh. I guess there's more windows here. Woo! It's a nice wide window. Heading up there. <sighs> Almost to where you scramble up mirror. bag it again. <laughs>